hello everyone welcome to the yarn bowl today in this video we're going to see how to crochet this 3r infinity scarf made with chunky yarn the premier yarn serenity chunky candy yarn if you want a free written pattern of this infinity scarf it's available in my website the yarn bowl crochet.com link for that is available in the description if you have an instagram account do follow me on my instagram handle as well i post project updates and fun reels on my instagram and if you are new to this channel please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bowl and click on the bell icon as well so that you get notified whenever i post a new video So these are the nice chunky yarn that I'm going to use for my project today. This is the new launch by Premier Yarns, the Serenity Chunky Candy Yarn. I'm going to use uh, the color sprinkles. It's a size 5 um, bulky yarn and uh, they recommend 8 millimeter crochet hook for working with this yarn and i'm going to continue working with 8 millimeter crochet hook as well and um, they are super soft so easy to work with and um, and this project is just a 3 hour project i just used two skein of this yarn and uh, this 8 millimeter crochet hook to work this infinity scarf and it just took three minutes we just need a uh, stitch marker scissors an 8 millimeter crochet hook to work the scarf so round one which is our foundation round i'm going to work a slip knot and then i'm going to work 180 chains so go ahead work 180 chains and uh, i'll meet you once we complete making 180 chains So once you have worked 180 chains, make sure your uh, chain is not twisted and then work a slip stitch on top of your starting chain to close this circle and from now on we can proceed with our infinity scarf. Just make sure that your chain is not twisted then we cannot work the rounds properly. So now once you have worked your slip stitch, let's proceed with our round 2. For round 2, I'm going to work a chain 1. This chain 1 does not count as a stitch. Then gently turn your chains. You can find a third loop around there and work one single crochet on the third loop. So this is going to preserve our V's at the bottom and the scarf will look pretty. So now I'm going to pick up the third loop of each chain and I'm going to work one single crochet on it. So now I have worked my second single crochet, pick up the third loop of the third chain and work one single crochet on it. So likewise, pick up the third loop of each chain and work one single crochet on it. Continue working one single crochet on the third loop of each stitch or each chain around. I'll meet you once we have done working on the third loop of all the chains. So you should have 180 single crochets worked on the third loop at the end of this round So now once you have worked one single crochet on the third loop of each chain, I'm going to work a slip stitch but I'm going to work the slip stitch on the back loop of my starting chain. So do not pick up both the loops, just pick up the back loop and work one slip stitch on it. So now we have completed our round 2, you can remove the stitch marker. So now for round 3 I'm going to work a chain 1, this chain 1 does not count as a stitch. And then I'm going to work one single crochet on the back loop of same stitch. And then I'm going to mark the stitch marker. And then I'm going to pick up the back loop of each stitch and work one single crochet on it. Pick up the back loop, work one single crochet on it. 
pick up the back loop and work one single crochet on it likewise we are going to work one single crochet on the back loop of each stitch around you should have 180 back loop single crochet stitches at the end of this round so continue working one single crochet on the back loop of each stitch around i'll meet you at the end of this round Now we are going to work one single crochet on the back loop of each stitch around. And now proceed working this way around. I have completed working back loop single crochet stitches. Now these two stitches at the starting are going to be the slip stitch and the chain one. So don't mistake these two uh, stitches as the stitch and work single crochet on them. Then your count will change leave those two stitches and work one slip stitch on the back loop of starting stitch and then work a chain one which does not count as a stitch and then work one single crochet on the back loop of same stitch now remove the stitch marker and mark it with the first stitch of this round we are just going to repeat our round three again we will work one single crochet on the back loop of each stitch around and then work one slip stitch on the start uh, top of starting single crochet stitch we will work the slip stitch on the back loop of the starting stitch so continue working one single crochet on the back loop of each stitch around basically repeating the round three and then once done we are going to work a slip stitch on top of back loop of the starting single crochet stitch always Make sure you don't mistake the slip stitch and the chain one of each round as a stitch. So instead if you want or you get confused mark your last stitch also with the stitch marker and then first stitch of each round with the stitch marker. In that way you won't miss or work extra stitches on the slip stitch or the chain one of each round. Now repeat this round 3 again work a chain one which does not count as a stitch and then work work a chain and then work one single crochet on top of the back loop of same stitch and then work one single crochet on the back loop of each stitch around so repeat round three around and then work a slip stitch on top of your starting single crochet stitches on the back loop so repeat this pattern over and over again so I have worked about 15 rows for uh, this infinity scarf. It exactly consumed two skeins of yarn. So not much or not less. It just used exactly two skeins of yarn. And uh, you can see the texture. It looks very good. And this chunky yarn is a perfect accessory for your winter. And uh, good news, it, I just made this in 3 hours. So it's a super quick project as well. So now I'm almost going to end my 15th row. So I'm just going to work one single crochet on the back loop of each stitch around. And then I'll work slip stitch on top of your starting single crochet stitch but since this is the last stitch of my last row I'm gonna use both the loops and work slip stitch this time on my last row and then work slip stitch fasten off and weave all the ends and you can fasten off the extra yarn bit as well So here it is, I'm done with my scarf, so this is an infinity scarf, you can just fold it around and that's it, it's so 
cozy and uh, nice chunky texture it's perfect for your winter outfits and uh, I just made the entire scarf in three hours which is the next good news and uh, this is super easy scarf try this at home and let me know your comments and if you want a free written of pattern of this infinity scarf it's available in my website the .com. link for that is available in the description and if you have an instagram account do follow me on my instagram handle as well i post project updates and fun reels on my instagram i hope you enjoyed this video please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bowl and click on the bell icon as well thanks for watching bye